Hey guys, I am super excited about this video. I thought it would be fun for you guys to send me ideas of like the most relatable, ordinary, but mostly positive experiences and then I'm going to challenge myself to create photos that represent as many of them as I can. So today I thought that I would just read through some of the messages that I got and I'll give you kind of like my first impression. I've already read a lot of them but I haven't really gone through like what would be my vision for them. Let's see what we got here. I was making an acai bowl, doing a photo shoot of it and then realizing it's already melted by the time I eat it. <laughs> this is too real. So I think one of the things that helps the most to really tell a story like this one is to have contrast. Probably have somebody else in the photo with me to show the difference. Instead of an acai bowl, I would do ice cream cones since that's like super easy to identify what's happening. I would maybe have Nathan and me sitting at a table in with his perfect ice cream cone, almost all the way gone, but still like looking really perfect. And then in contrast, mine would be all still there, but like dripping everywhere and um, have, find like a really pretty way to show like a messy drip. <laughs> And then I would have my camera out. Here's a good one. Getting my online shopping packages in the mail. Oh my gosh, yes. Like a stack of boxes and packages and I could be sitting at the top of them. Um, probably would require some Photoshop. And then Quibis. Quibis is my friend as just a way to challenge me. Sent me doing taxes. He says, if you can make that look visually appealing, you're a genius. Because it's probs impossible. I'm determined to do this one. I'm going to make doing taxes look good. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Okay, this would be a lot of work. I'm imagining like setting up a cute office space or I could even do this in my bedroom, which is where I actually did my taxes. Strings going across from one wall to the other wall. Then I could clip all the receipts onto each string. So it could look like a really cool visual thing happening, but it would be like me organizing my receipts or like organizing the paperwork or something like that. Another fun way to do that would be to have a piggy bank. I could just have like that and money all over and paper all over and I could find like a really cute calculator, some glasses, and then I could shoot it from above of like just my hands and the back of my head. So those are all of my like initial first impression ideas. I'll take you with me through the process. Here we go. Okay, so it's Friday and I'm getting started on all of these ideas. So the first one that I want to start with today is going to be the one about trying to photograph an acai bowl before it melts, but I'm going to switch out the acai bowl for um, an ice cream cone. The challenge with this one is that ice cream looks better when it's not melted, but I want to somehow portray trying to get the picture before it's melted. I think it might be kind of fun to do a GIF where I'm completely still the whole time but then the ice cream is like gradually getting smaller and smaller. So I have like a general idea in my head of what it's going to look like. I'm going to be taking a picture with the film camera just because it's cuter than a phone. And I still need to figure out the details of how the ice cream cone is going to actually look. I think that's something that will be easier to figure out kind of as I go. Okay, so I pretty much have everything set up. I just need to make the ice cream cone. But before I do that, since it actually will melt in real life before I get the photo, I wanted to figure out what's gonna be a good pose so that once I have the ice cream, I can pretty much just do it. Okay, so I like this pose the best because you'll be able to see the ice cream really clearly over the background instead of on top of me. And you can still see my face and you can see the camera and it fills up the space enough. I think I'm gonna try to do that and I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice cream. All right, so we got options for ice cream. This is my favorite, but I hope that we have strawberries because that will be the best to photograph. Shoot. Turns out we don't have the ice cream I thought we had or ice cream cones. So I will be taking a trip to the store. This is why it takes me like three hours for every photo. I'm trying to take a picture of taking a picture of ice cream before it melts, before the ice cream melts. It's like an ice cream picture inception.
ran into a little hiccup, which is that I didn't finish my photo before Nathan needed the photo backdrop for a photo shoot. So I think I got like the main one that I need, but in order to get the rest of the ice cream melting, I think I'm just gonna use a little Photoshop. Something get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live in life. finished photoshopping the ice cream onto each photo and it was a little tricky since I didn't actually shoot the ice cream in the same spot as the backdrop but I think it worked. What I'd love to do is put these all together into a video. Alright so it's day two of shooting all of these photos. Next one is going to be me doing taxes so it took me such a long time to figure out a really cool way to do this. I had a lot of ideas of how to make it look cool, but all of them felt like they would look kind of messy. I really wanted to feel like clean, like clean lines and not a mess. One time I posted a photo of myself carrying a box full of pineapple and I loved the concept, but the pineapple just like looked crazy in the box and I couldn't handle it. So I deleted it from my feed because it was just like too messy. So that's the risk with this taxes photo because it has to do with receipts and paper a lot of times can look messy, especially like I know my actual receipts are really crumpled up. So I've been trying to figure out the best way to do this and I finally came up with an idea thanks to some Pinterest inspo. I also don't wanna have my actual receipts in the video because that would probably be giving away some personal information, I don't really know. So what I'm gonna do is basically make a paper backdrop, like cut out paper in just these long strips to kind of look, re look like receipts. So I'm wearing this button up dress because I felt like it would look, you know, kind of like professional, like I'm at the office doing my taxes. And I'm gonna wear these glasses. If you're good at taxes, you must wear glasses, right? Set me up like lemonade. We both know it's bittersweet. Ah, I got the background all set up, but since the whole setup is almost entirely white, I thought I would add on this blazer for a pop of color. This is what it's looking like on my phone. I'm just gonna sit in the middle of that. I'm gonna grab a couple other props. Oh, Usually I'll set up the shot how I think it's gonna look good and then every once in a while it works right away but most of the time I experiment with like a bunch of different angles, a bunch of different poses, different arrangements of props and then once I find the combination that I love then I'll experiment with all different angles um, within that same setup like if I want my head like this or like this or all the way down if I want my eyes looking up or down. After I find that one, I usually leave everything set up for a while until after I edit the photo to make sure that it edits well. There were a couple poses in there that I liked at the beginning, but I felt like it didn't really look like me doing taxes. So I wanted to find the right combination of a pose that is flattering and I feel, you know, like myself and like I want to post it, um, but also tells the story really well. I liked the angle where I was looking off this way because the light is better on my face. You can see my ponytail and it's like, I always like to see a jawline. But when I was doing that, it was kind of like, okay, what is this, a copy break? Like, I guess I could make the caption about a copy break, but I really wanted to show me doing taxes. So then that's when I decided to just hold up the receipt. And then that made the difference. And then that ended, ended up being the shot that I love. Your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body you're so close. No, I can't forget, no. This is the one that I think I'm going to use. I really liked how it turned out. So I think this is the one, but I'm going to go ahead and edit and see how it edits. And then 
if I like it, I'm done. And if not, then I'll take a couple more. So I really like how it's editing, but the only thing that's bothering me is there's like no room above my head. I designed this photo originally to be to have me sitting down. So there my head would be like right here and there would be all these receipts above me. But since I ended up standing up, I think the headroom is a little bit awkward. It's okay, but it's bothering me enough that I'm gonna try photoshopping. I definitely don't want to redo the whole shoot, so I'm just gonna take another picture of the receipt and then see if I can add them in above. So the last photo for the video is gonna be the one about getting packages in the mail. I just got a package in the mail a couple days ago and it's so exciting. My go-to obviously is to include like a brown box or some type of package, but since those aren't like amazingly beautiful, I wanted to think of a way to add in some color. That made me think of those surprise boxes where you open it up and it's like balloons come out or confetti comes out or something like that. So I'm gonna pretend that I got a package full of balloons in the mail. The biggest challenge with this one is that um, I don't want it to look like a baby announcement. I know I want like reddish orangish in my feed next, so that's why I'm wearing this outfit. And I have all these balloons and a balloon pump. Well, since I don't have helium, the balloons can't actually pop out of the box. So if that doesn't read well, then I'm just gonna do it slightly differently and make the caption more about like having a party when you get a package because it's so exciting. Alright, so this is the general setup, and I'm gonna be sitting right there. I ended up taping the balloons onto the backdrop so that it'll look like they're floating out. Let's lay here and waste up time. I'm gonna love you like crazy. I thought that was gonna be the hardest one, but it was actually super quick. I think I already got one that I like. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to see a little bit of my process and um, got inspired to come up with your own ideas. If you're ever stumped to come up with an idea, I think this is a great way to do it, to just think of whatever you're actually doing that day or whatever you do all the time that doesn't necessarily seem aesthetically pleasing. Try to come up with a way to represent that in a way that is actually fun to look at and beautiful. If you like this video, as usual, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And then below, you can comment any other ideas that you have for future videos. So comment on this video or go to my Instagram and comment on my photo or send me a DM. And let me know what other things you want to see me shoot for the next one. Super excited to film the next one. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye!